When we use the term normals in 3D modeling, we are referring to the direction that our geometry is facing. Every vertex, edge and face on your model has an inward facing side and an outward facing side. And the way the normals are pointing will determine how your geometry is going to be rendered. This is particularly true in video games. In order to identify where our normals are on our model, we can go to this overlays menu here. So left click on this button. And here we have a few options. So we have, for example, face orientation, and that makes the entire model blue. Now, if you see blue across your entire model, that means that the normals are all facing the correct way. So we want our normals to always be facing in the outward direction towards our camera. Alternatively, we can hit the tab key to go into edit mode, come back to this overlays menu, and we can see that we have a lot more options to work with here. So if I scroll down, you will see we have the option for normals and we can decide if we want to display the normals of the vertices, the edges or the faces. If we go with the vertices, for example, and then increase this size value, you should begin to see that we have these purple lines that are pointing out from each vertex of our cube. This represents the normal of that vertex and the direction that it is facing. If we go back to our overlays menu, we can turn this off and turn on faces. And now we can see the normals pointing from each individual face. Here we have a slightly different example with a subdivided cube. So we now have more faces to work with. However, there is a problem with this cube that is not initially visible. If we go to our overlays menu and enable our face normals, you will see that some of the faces don't have the blue line sticking out. And this is because those normals are facing the wrong way. A better representation of our issue can be made by selecting face orientation, which we looked at earlier. If we click this, you will see that some of the faces on our cube now appear red. When you see red, that means that you are looking at the inside of that specific face. Ideally, you don't want to see any red faces on your model, unless you choose to go inside the model in which the colors will reverse. Let's just turn these off for the moment. So face orientation and normals. Now everything looks fine if we don't display the normal direction. So what impact does this actually have? For example, if we were to export this cube into a video game engine like Unity or Unreal Engine. Well, what we can do is we can enable something known as backface culling. I'm going to select this menu here. This is our shading menu. And one of the options that we have is for backface culling. This is an effect that is common in video game engines. The idea here is for the game engine to not render the inside of your geometry. So if we enable this, you can see that some of the faces now effectively disappear apart from their edges and we can see straight through the model. These faces are the ones that have the inward direction pointing out. So they're facing the wrong way, which is why we can now see through them. The question now is going to be, how can we correct this? Because if you export a model into a game engine and it looks like this, then you've got a few issues that you need to deal with, especially if it's a more complex model, like a human character and half of the face is effectively 
with incorrect normals. So in order to fix your normals, you can select your entire model with the A key. Then you can open the normals menu by holding down Alt and then press N. In the normals menu, you can choose to flip the normals of your geometry or recalculate them outside or inside. Here, we want to recalculate everything outside. So left click, press A or Alt A to deselect everything. And you can now see that all of our faces are visible, even though back face culling is still enabled. And the reason why is because any faces that were pointing in the wrong direction have now been reversed. If we go back to our overlays menu and select the normals option here, we can see all of our blue lines sticking out of every face. And if we enable face orientation, we can see the faces themselves appear blue. Finally, in Blender, we have two forms of shading, flat shading and smooth shading. Flat shading allows us to see the individual faces of our model, as the light reflects off each independent face slightly differently, making it very visible. This is not always something that we are going to desire though. We don't want to see all of the individual faces. So what we can do is go to the object menu located here and then come down to where it says shade smooth. When we click this option, our appearance changes and we can no longer see the individual faces because the lighting on our model appears more uniform than it did before. This does not actually change much in terms of the model itself, but it enables the smoothing attributes to the vertex normals, which allows us to get this smooth effect with the light hitting the surface of our object and hence allowing us to no longer have to see the individual faces. It does not change the fact that there is a low amount of geometry on this model and you can still see how jagged the model looks even though we have smooth shading enabled. The solution to this is to simply add more geometry such as using a subdivision surface modifier. These are the fundamentals of being able to identify and fix normals in Blender.